Hello, this is Noah Cockett and I'm going to be reviewing the OPK um, gold-plated Lord of the Rings ring and the Dragon Reborn full-size Lord of the Rings sting, uh, that's Frodo's sword, with a scabbard. First I'm going to talk about the One Ring. Now, as we all know, it's the One Ring to rule them all. One Ring to rule them all. One Ring to find them. One Ring to bring them all and in the darkness bind them. It's made of uh, 18 karat gold plate with a tungsten carbide steel core um, and it cost me 7 99 and I had to pay postage and packaging on it which was 3 99 so it was about 12 quid all in um, and I, I think it's a really good really good replica I suppose it is a replica um, it can't be the real one um, uh, and it, it, I think mine's an O size, and it fits really good. It's um, it's it doesn't fall off, you know. Um, and that they've got lots of sizing options on the um, on the site. Now I'm going to um, show you some pictures that I've taken with a actually good camera, because my webcam's not that good for taking photos. Um, I won't be talking through this bit because the audio didn't work. So. Um, I'm sorry for that. Now, after that slightly boring bit, we're on to Sting. And here it is. This is Sting. It's 22 inches long and it is made of 440 stainless steel. Um, I would have liked the handle to be a bit more brown because it's uh, a bit red, as you might be able to see. Um, so it's, it's, it doesn't exactly look like like it should. Um, and the, the elvish leaves aren't engraved or anything, they're just uh, painted on. Um, there are a few chips in it and things, like on the guard here, there's a nice big chip there, um, which I'm not sure how it got there. As I'm sure you can see, the Elvish engraving is on the blade, um, and it's not that deep. Um, if I was going to have it done, the, the engraving, if I was going to get a saw and get engraving done, I'd want it a bit deeper than this because in the right light or in the wrong light as the case may be you can't really see it which I don't like um, for a moment let's let's take out of the picture that it is a wall hanger and that it is designed to be a wall hanger and think about the fact that it is heavy it's a little bit tip heavy and it is I think quite sharp. I have a hole in a cushion um, from where I opened it too fast and it got stuck in a cushion um, and I, yeah I, I had to sew up the cushion uh, so it has a nice big patch on it. Um, yeah I like the I like the finish actually on the guard. It's, it's got a sort of antiqued dull finish which is very nice. It's even got the engraving on the hilt which you might be able to see here. Um, which is really really nice. Um, I'm going to leave the pictures to you. I've got some pictures that I've taken that are a bit closer up which may help you to decide whether you like this or not. Um, which I'll put on in a minute. As I've said before my computer is a bit rubbish or certainly my recording stuff is so it's dreadful for um, recording my voice. So I can't do voiceovers while the pictures are on so it'll be a bit of a boring section again. So you can fast forward if you want. Uh, you know, totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to say one more thing about this sword. The balance point isn't too, too bad. It's like there. I mean, certainly, this isn't like, this isn't a proper sword. Like, it's not bendy. It's not made of carbon steel. It's made of 440 stainless steel, as I think I've said before. Um, but you could probably do some damage with this. I mean, certainly you can cut vegetables with this. I, I, I've cut cucumbers with this, and it, it's quite good at that. 
Um, it comes quite sharp, as I've said. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put the pictures up now, and I hope you've enjoyed my rambling. One more thing about Sting is um, it's got a central ridge, which um, I don't know, when it's hanging and stuff, it may look a bit flat, but you can just about see that it's got a ridge where, you know, it, it's it got a, a proper sort of diamond shape profile like that. I think you can see it there. Yeah, it, it, it it's, re like, it's made really well, I think, definitely for about 40 quid maybe 50 quid. This is brilliant. Now for the other part of Sting. The the, the wall hanging bit, the bit that hangs on the wall. Um, this is really good. This isn't the one that's on the website. The website, when you buy it, it advertises one that looks completely different to this. My best friend bought this, this sword for me and I don't know how he managed to get this one instead of the other one. I think they might have just changed it in the process and not updated their pictures yet, but this is fab. I, I, I like this one more than the other one. Not that I've had the other one, but the other one doesn't look as nice. Um, there are a few problems that I've had with it, like not actual problems, but the aesthetic isn't great. Um, it's got some scratching like right there that it came with, um, and on the back the hole is a bit wonky, like so it tends to lean a bit if if you don't put sting in properly. Um, if you put it just to the left or just to the right, right, it leans like that. Um, but apart from that, it's really good, and you could probably fix that by you know, drilling to the other side and just cutting it open, sort of thing. If you were good at DIY, but I'm not, so I didn't want to try that and ruin something that I've been given for my team. Um, this is brilliant, you know, these are just screws that you, you sort of screw in manually, uh, takes about a minute, you know, it's, this is really good. As I've said, the prices for this are about £50, pounds, um, depending on where you get it. Um, this package is £50, pounds, uh, all in I think. For final clarification, I have just discovered through various internet sources, uh, like the actual Dragon Reborn site, that this sword with the plaque is £35, not 50 or 40 like I was saying, uh, my friends lied to me. Uh, this is £35, maybe it was £40 with postage and packaging, but it's definitely 40, uh, £35 from the site. That's £35 English pounds from the Dragon Reborn site. This is the last thing on the list today. The key to Erebor. This is the key that Thorin received from Gandalf when um, in Bilbo's house they're talking about the map and how they're going to get into Erebor, the Lonely Mountain. Um, I got this in Germany in a shop called Elbenwald, um, which has a website, so you can get this. Um, it's really, really good. I can't stress that enough. Um, like it looks so like the actual one on the movie, it's unreal. I mean, look, it goes on my my my, my key chain. I have the map of Erebor as well, which comes with this key. Um, they all come on a chain together, as you can see. Um, except the chain, the chain links up there. But I, 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 I took it off because it was jangling too much and it kept getting interlocked with other keys. So I've changed it, Just that that's my fault, not, not their fault. Um, 
it's for 14.95 euros um because when i was over there i bought it in euros because germany's a euro country um because it's in europe obviously um you know that makes sense um yeah this is so cool it's unreal like i found it really cool that i could walk around with the the key to Erebor on my keychain i just think that's really cool um that's the third thing I, I'm reviewing this, this time. Bye. See you later.